Are you ready for a road trip? Oh yeah, I am. I'm on the hunt for new technologies and uh, boy, there's a lot going on in our industry. I love new technology and standards for HVAC and refrigeration equipment. It's really been the driving force for my entire career. I'm a veteran technician and an educator, and it is my passion to be able to see how things are changing, get an understanding of it, so that not only can I have my own understanding, but I can teach other people how things work. It's really about tearing apart, see how it's made, right? I mean, that's one of the big reasons we're in this industry to begin with. We love fixing stuff, at least I do. So we're on our way today. We're on a voyage over to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, about a six hour drive from my home area of Brownsburg, Indiana. So we're running across I-70 on a mission to go visit the grand opening of the United Association's 449 Technical Training Facility. It's a big deal. It's got a lot of brand new Daikin equipment. It's sponsored and supported by its local distributors like Johnstone Supplies, and uh, not to mention it has a HVAC Excellence certification to it. So it is a big deal. So we're on our way to go look at new technologies and see how the world of HVAC is changing and to see what training looks like for this new equipment that is coming out and that some of us are already seeing. So I look forward to you joining us and uh, thanks for joining the ESCO Roadship. Okay, so we're going to start this beautiful day out about 7.30 in the morning so we can witness some sunrise in this amazing Pennsylvania atmosphere. And uh, wow, what a fantastic way to start an adventure in HVAC and refrigeration exploration. After an incredibly warm introduction from Jeff Reese of Daikin Comfort Technologies, our very own Howard Weiss from the ESCO Institute, and Keith Avery from Hampton Engineering, we uh, went into this incredible facility to give you a tour of what it looks like from the inside. I don't even know where to begin on how impressed I was with this incredible facility. Every detail has been built with the intention of technology and technician interaction. And man, we are so excited to be a part of this experience. Every aspect of this facility is designed from a technician's perspective on not only are we going to learn the principles and applications in the classroom, we're going to go out and physically get our hands in the middle of this stuff. I'm telling you what, I couldn't live closer to this facility, otherwise I'd be in trouble because I'd be gone all the time. We have accommodations for everything you can possibly need from an HVAC education perspective. Ah, how exciting. You interested in learning controls and how things tie in through automations? Man, this department has a little bit of everything. And a supermarket refrigeration section. Are you kidding me? Anyone that knows me knows that this is where I cut my teeth in the industry and spent most of my time in building automations and grocery refrigeration. They had everything you could possibly want to look at, even R290 and R600A equipment. I mean, come on. And like a hundred welding stations. And man, you want to talk about organization? This place is the epitome for HVAC art. You're going to see some amazing photos in here. And look at that. I mean, come on now. Every piece that I have seen in this facility just resonates with quality. So when was the last time you seen VRV equipment just sitting around waiting to get your hands on? Oh, ooh, what about chillers that are torn apart so we can actually look inside, do investigations inside of our pumps, inside of our tube and shells, and uh, this place is just dripping with opportunity. Um, hello? Anybody want to see the inside of a uh, chiller? If they had one chiller, they've got 20. I don't even know how many they actually had. And check out these installations. I mean, yeah, this is my kind of place. You know, it's one thing to talk about principles, but to actually take the time to disassemble components so you can get a true, hands-on, visual representation of how things work, this is me. This is everything that I've ever loved about education and the HVAC industry. 
Oh, and did I even mention the history? You all know how much I love history. Jeff Bledsoe and Brian Kelly. Oh, and what about a uh, grand opening of a Daikin Technology Gentlemen, Center? Cut the ribbon. Man, this place. All right. Has it all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. What does this all mean? Well, to me, it means that the union is a force to be reckoned with in the HVAC training. They've always been phenomenal trainers, but now that they're really directing attention towards the changes in the industry and preparing technicians for new technologies like inverters and VRVs and all of the changes in A2Ls and A3 refrigerants, it is an incredible thing to be thinking about. What are the next steps? Where can you see yourself in the industry? And do you want to be on the front lines of education and technology? Well, I think you've seen, times have changed, and it's wonderful to see that we have educational partners like the UA that is joining forces with manufacturers like Daikin Technologies to be able to bring training to you. So, yeah, definitely a different perspective on what I've seen as the union the UA and how it is impacting the future of our industry. To stay up to date with changes in the industry, check out ESCO Institute on YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, and our website, escogroup.org.